Hey y'all, welcome to my channel or welcome back. If you are new here, thank you so much for joining us. If you are returning, you already know it. <laughs> you are fabulous. All right, so today's video, guys, this is like a day in the life. Um, I had some sponsorships that I wanted to share with you guys and a lot of the new house. So if you guys get sick of seeing the new house, please let me know in the comments. And I do apologize, but like right now, my life kind of revolves around this new house. Like everything that we're doing and, and all the stuff that I have going on literally has to do with this house. So anyways, I want to share it with you guys. I'm so proud and I'm just so grateful and it's just something that I want to share with my community. So I hope that you guys enjoy this video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up. It definitely helps my channel. Don't forget to share this with your friends and family and subscribe. That would be awesome. Plus hit that notification bell so that you will know each time I upload a new video. All right. Let's jump right in. All right. So first off, I would like to give a special thank you to today's sponsor, Paris Roan. So if you remember the name Paris Roan, that's probably because I actually received a cooling fan from this company back during the summertime. And guys, that fan to this day still works awesome. So I am convinced that this company makes great products. So what they've sent me here is a steam cleaner. It has got so many different little attachments and like accessories and just all sorts of cool stuff. Um, this features fast heating and efficient steam cleaning for carpet, upholstery, hard floors, tiles, windows, and cars. It comes with 21 accessories, y'all, including, but not limited to, a floor brush, ironing brush, glass brush, three nylon round brushes, three stainless steel brushes, two extension tubes, carpet glider, a pair of gloves, a squeegee, a measuring cup, a funnel, and a storage bag to keep it all in. <laughs> How about that? So this is a large capacity with a 1.5 liter tank that provides 50 minutes of steam time, which is ideal for whole home cleaning without interruption. It has 360 easy rolling wheels for easy mobility, and also safe operation, which is a built-in child lock designed to protect children and pets from accidental injury. What about that? The steam cleaner handles different tasks and is perfect for your car, office, bedroom, and home use. Okay, so here's the state of the floor at the moment. I'm just doing this one little section just to show you guys just how well this steam cleaner works. But as you can see there, this part, it's right here by the back door and that's usually where we let the dogs out. So pretty sure that's all it is, is just where the dogs have been in and out. But anyways, I wanted to show y'all what it looked like and then I'm going to use my steam mop and clean this up real quick. All right. Y'all, literally since we moved into this new house, the weather has been terrible. It's either been pouring down rain or snowing. So <laughs> the floors have taken a beating in the last couple of weeks, literally. Like it has just been something. Cause I mean, we have to let the dogs out two or three times a day. You know what I mean? So that's like, mm, you know, what is that? 14, 16 legs. How many is it? Four times four, 16. Yeah. 16 little feet that come through that door three or four times a day, and it just makes a mess. But with this steam mop, it was so easy to clean up. All right, guys, check it out. Look at that. So easy. So, 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 so easy, guys. You literally just pull the trigger on the handle. So it's got a little handle here. You pull that trigger, you push the yellow button in, and then you pull the trigger steam comes out of the little mop head so simple and like on the spots that really didn't want to come up if i just kind of held the steam over them for a minute they came right up guys so so simple to use oh look at how good it looks i'm so proud of this thing this is awesome guys okay so that's the paris roan aspiron steam mop the link will be in the description box. Don't forget to check it out. Okay, so I thought I would just kind of pop in and talk to you guys for a minute um, about some changes that I'm making and just different stuff that I've had going on. 
Obviously, most of you guys know that we have finally gotten moved into our new house. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Ah, oh my gosh, I love it. First of all, I'm so proud, but I am so, so grateful. It is, it's amazing. I'm so proud to be here. Oh my goodness, you just don't even know. <laughs> to get out of that cabin, oh, thank you. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> anyway, so we're in our new house. Um, and as most of you know, I started TikTok about, mm, it's probably been about two months ago, I guess. Well, because we're in our new house, I wanted to start doing more like house type TikToks, you know, whatever. And I thought, well, you know, I could start kind of implementing that onto my channel as well. Like in my shorts, maybe my YouTube shorts and even a little bit into the videos. But I'm just curious what you guys think about it because I can do whatever I want to on TikTok. That's not, no, that's not, you know, part of this. So I can, I can go full house with it. You know what I'm saying? I'm still going to do my DIYs. Obviously that is my heart, but I want to do a lot more with my house. I mean, I'm just, I'm so grateful to be here and I'm very proud of it. And I just, I want to share it more. Um, but I'm just curious what you guys think. If you're not interested in that, let me know. Um, and if you would like to see more of that, let me know. <laughs> Either way, let me know in the comments what you think about that. Because like I said, I just, I'm just, I'm so, I'm so grateful and just, unbelievably proud to be here. So I just wanted to start sharing a little bit more of the house with y'all. And I've got several sponsors coming up um, in this next couple of months that kind of have to do with the house or with like appliances or, you know, whatever. So I thought I would start doing a little more of the like update house type videos. Um, I'm going to continue to do my daily devotionals. That's something that's very important to me. I'm going to try to be more consistent with my daily devotionals in the coming year. Um, I have had so much going on. Now, I'm not making excuses whatsoever, but I'm just stating facts. Like, I have literally, my plate has been so full for the last couple of weeks. And I'm not complaining because it was all things that I was more than happy to do because it meant we could get into the house a little faster. So, anyways, my, my hands have just been tied pretty much as far as being able to get any devotionals out. So, I've put out a couple since we got into the new house. But I plan on, um, you know, being more consistent with that throughout the next, the coming year. Um, and I'm curious, what are you guys going to do, you know, in your, in what's your like New Year's resolution? Tell me that. I would like to know what your New Year's resolution is. Mine, I have several. One, to be more consistent with my daily devotionals. Number two, to be more consistent with my skincare. I know that's completely different, but... It's something that I want to do. It's something I want to be more consistent with. I want to start a habit of washing my face every night and putting all my creams on and my serums and my all my stuff. You know what I mean? Um, I'm 40 now. It's it's important to do these things. So, and plus, I want to um, show myself a little more love and a little more self care. I guess you would say. Um, I'm always trying to make sure that everybody else is happy and that everything's done. And, you know, I'm, I'm very, I've told y'all before, I've got my little planner. I've got a happy planner and I love it. And I write everything down and I go through the list and I get up in the mornings and I tackle my list and make sure everything's done, you know. And I just want to show myself a little more attention like I give to, to others. You know what I mean? And I think that that's very important for your well-being to have a little bit of self-care and, and a little bit of time that you just, you just spend on yourself. Um, also something else that I would like to be more consistent with, and that is my, my prayers and my, my talking to the Lord. You know, I want to, um, I just want to be more consistent with that. I want to take time, slow down, take time and listen and just see what God has planned for me for this next year, you know? So, yeah, that's something else that I want to be more consistent with. Um, I don't know. Oh, and my diet. I definitely want to be more consistent with the way that I eat. Because I eat like a 7th grader. 
I, it's bad. I love chips and candy and blah. It's awful. My diet is awful. <laughs> so that's something in the coming year that I would like to um, implement into my lifestyle is just better eating habits, um, eating more healthy and you know, whatever. So that's something that's, that's super important to me, but I'd like to know what you guys have. What are y'all's new year's resolutions? I would love to read that. I just want to know what everybody else has kind of got going on in their life. So let me know in the comment section, what is your new year's resolution? I would like to do more videos like this with us just talking, just hanging out like girl time. I need that. I need that really bad right now. So and I hope that maybe some of y'all do too. So I hope that I have more opportunities to just do videos like this, where we're just talking and hanging out, maybe even do some lives. That way, I've never done, I've done two. I've done two lives on my channel. I take that back. I did one at the Blue Bank Resort, and then I did one... Maybe I've only done one on my channel. I don't know. But anyways, I would like to do more lives. That way I can actually interact with you guys because during a live, you can actually post comments and I can see them and I can respond to those comments right there while we're filming the video. So it's kind of like you guys are literally part of the video. That's, that's so awesome. So I would like to do some more lives. I think that would be a lot of fun. Um, and just different stuff. I just have a lot of different things that I would like to start doing on my channel. And I'm definitely not going to stop my DIYs, so don't worry. And obviously, the daily devotionals will still be here. So, that's something that you don't have to worry about. Those two things will be here. But it's just that I want to do some different stuff. I want to kind of expand my channel, I guess you would say. So, anyways, that was just a couple things that I wanted to talk to you all about. And I hope you all are enjoying the video so far. I, I had a couple different things that I wanted to show you <laughs> in this video. So, I hope that you all are enjoying it. But anyways, we will jump right back in. Okay, so I wanted to share a little bit of our Christmas with you guys. My daughter had asked for an electric guitar. So as you see right here, she's hiding her face. She has no idea what we're about to give her. She's scared to death, actually. And then boom, she opens her eyes and there she has a beautiful red electric guitar. Now we lucked out with this guitar this year. Um, a friend of ours actually had it. We were able to buy it off of him, and it just worked out perfect. My son had actually asked for a stereo for his truck, so that's what we got him. But we do our Christmas on Christmas Eve night. What are some of y'all's traditions? When do you guys do opening presents and doing all that stuff? Now, when they were little, obviously, we would do Christmas morning because Santa Claus would come, you know, and whatever, blah, blah, blah. But now that they are older, we have started doing Christmas Eve night, and we've just continued to do that for the last probably five or six years, I think. Um, we've done it on Christmas Eve. But anyways, what are y'all's traditions? What do you guys do? And of course, I am the keeper of the trash. You know, my tradition is to walk around with a big trash bag and make sure that I pick up all the boxes and the paper and the blah, 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 and I save all the bags that are reusable. <laughs> Does anybody else do that? Let me know that one in the comments. Do you save bags? Like, if they are not torn up or written on or, you know, whatever, do you save them and reuse them the next year? Because I totally do. Totally have no shame there. I totally do. Anyways, so this was just a little sneak peek of our Christmas. I wanted to share that with you guys. I know it's already after Christmas by the time you guys are seeing this video, but like I said, I just wanted to share a little bit of our Christmas with y'all. This is Christmas in the new house. We are so, so blessed, so proud to be in this new house, and this was just a little bit of what I wanted to share with you guys today. Now, on to the house. So, the next morning when I woke up, it was actually Christmas morning, and I finished picking up all of the paper and the trash and whatnot, and then I just kind of went from there. So, I had to empty the trash that was in the living room and in the kitchen because we had paper and bags and whatnot a lot of it. So anyways, I finished cleaning all that up and then I decided I would clean my stove. I'm very ADD, so if I do one thing, it almost like leads into the next thing, into the next thing, into the next thing. 
<laughs> it's just kind of the way I, I work, but whatever. So I did up my dishes, but this is kind of the um, format of what some of the house videos would look like. This is kind of what I would be going for. So I wanted to just throw a little bit of this in here at the end of this video, just to kind of show you guys what I mean when I say I would like to do more house videos, more videos that in, you know, just have the house and what I do and kind of my, um, I don't know, routines and whatnot in it. Like right now, I'm sitting down doing my planner. I do my planner every morning. I make sure that I go through the list. I go back over the list from the day before, make sure I didn't miss anything, move it on to the previous or the, the next day if I have to, you know, whatever. Anyways, but I just really enjoy showing you guys this house. It's been so much fun putting it together, and I hope that y'all enjoy stuff like this. I really, really do, <laughs> because I absolutely love making these kinds of videos. But so after I'd gotten the living room and the kitchen cleaned, <clears throat> I moved on to my bedroom, went and got myself a shower, and then came back and started laundry. Now, my son seems to think that you can put everything in the washing machine at the same time. So I was like, you know what? I'll just do your laundry for you. How about that? But <clears throat> the reason I was showing y'all this is because on Christmas Day, I actually took down all of my Christmas. Like, I put it all away, everything, from top to bottom, other than the trees. Now, I did leave up the trees just because I didn't have anywhere to put them right now, and it's snowing like crazy outside. So, I just decided to clean everything up, put away all my Christmas, and start to kind of decorate the house the way that it's going to be for the rest of winter, you know? I found these awesome sconce um, lantern looking things at the Dollar General store, guys, for $10 a piece. How stinking cute are those? The ones that I just hung. How cute are those guys? Like seriously, $10 a piece. Anyways, laundry is my love language, I guess, because it is all I ever do, I feel like. I have constantly got laundry going on. And I decided I would clean my laundry machine, and then which ADD once again turns into cleaning the refrigerator. So... <laughs> Does anybody else clean like that? You just go from one thing on into the next, maybe even in a completely different room. It ne You never know. You never know with the whole ADD situation. But anyways, I did finish up the laundry for the day. And then I was going to show you guys, I got this little laundry premium service can, canister, whatever you call it, at the Dollar General. And then I got the little... Um, candy jars at the Dollar Tree to hold all of my laundry stuff in. So super proud of all of that stuff, but finished off the day playing with the dogs and I hope that y'all enjoy. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing, little boy? Ah, bye-bye. You can't get up on me, silly goose. I get your nose. I get your nose. <laughs> pretty babies. Those pretty babies. 